Welcome back to The Grind. Today we're going to talk about the Day 4 Mystery Branch and the prizes within it. Now, I apologize if the audio is bad. I'm stuck at work for a 28-hour shift, so can't really get to a ideal place, but we'll make this work. So let's talk about the prizes. The first prize is 15 Platinum Chests for 1,000 Sigils, and this is actually a great deal if you have the Sigils to spare and actually the sigils to gamble. So you will not necessarily earn back all your sigils, but you could earn back more. When I did it, and we'll go through my prizes, but I did not earn back all my prizes, all my sigils, sorry, but I got a lot of really great prizes. So we'll take a look at that and discuss it a little bit further. So I went ahead and spent 5,000 sigils to buy all five of those sets of 15 platinum chests. So 75 chests I opened up, and the average that you will get from a set of 10 chests is almost a thousand actually it's like 900 something however that's averaged out over a lot of chests and because you can only open a limited a number of these you likely won't hit the average but you could hit far above the average for me i hit below the average and hit about 3000 sigils which is not too bad for the investment of 5000 sigils especially considering some of the drops that i got see in this one i hit two mythics for black pearls and ice shards unfortunately it was ice shards but lots of legendary drops there too and lots of embers and timers that I got as a result of this. So I really only spent 2,000 sigils to get all these prizes. There's a legendary timer drop and a bunch, I mean, sorry, a mythic timer drop and then a few other legendaries that were very helpful as well. And then I think I get another mythic timer and mythic black pearl drop coming up after this even as well. So lots of resources for uh base building, which is very important in the game, especially at higher levels, it gets much more difficult to have the resources needed. Now, the thing to remember is that if you are trying to get a mythic and you might not make it, this probably is not the best choice because you could potentially lose two to 3,000 sigils. But if you have the resources available and it's not going to mess up your season plans or you can make up the difference with super sigil chests, these platinum chests are an awesome deal because you get so many resources out of it. Yes, it might not be the best resources available because of the averages and where you're at in the sequence, but you're bound to get some good stuff. Now, the next prize is the Tower HP, definitely not even worth considering, so don't bother with that. And then on to Black Pearls. Now, I heard some comments that this wasn't really a good deal, and it's not the most amazing deal, but I feel like it's reasonable if you are really short on Black Pearls and doing okay with timers and embers, because the amount of rubies that it would take to make up for the cost of sigils, you could use to buy about 22 gold chests. And those gold chests would give you approximately 1300 black pearls. So you'll get more than double the black pearls from spending it this way, but you would be sacrificing about 20 days worth of timers and about 3000 embers, if the math was correct on that. Next is the energy packs, which is reasonably priced if you need them and have the sigils at hand, but otherwise, like for me, I'm not going to get them. And then the legendary fire flak HP glyph is a good glyph if you do not have one. If you need for one for your base, it's a very reasonable price. So definitely worth grabbing if it will benefit your base. For me, I don't need it because I already have the glyphs that I need. So at least a few decent options today, depending on your situation and what you need. But definitely, if you think you can make it happen, the platinum chests are a great investment and you may actually get more sigils back in return. So if you think you can make it work, I highly recommend it. Good luck and I will see you in the next video.